Hey everyone, welcome to the Weezcast, subtitled Baka Talk. I'm Weez, the host and creator, and with me as always is the person who is the actual creator in case we get canceled on Twitter or get into any <laughs> legal trouble. Boom! So you're taking over my show. No, it's just been mine the whole time. What? Uh, unless those we other not agree two to specific what circumstances frick, happen. Un- unless uh, some this. legal issues occur. Yeah, unless some legal issues occur. So I'm just, so I'm like the vice president. No, you're the scapegoat. Oh, yeah, exactly. You're the one the that fall we, guy. You're the one that is like the puppet governor that either takes the fall or just gets totally like screwed over yeah, and exactly. the new regime takes over. Okay. Yeah. I don't like this, but I mean, that still means I can fire you. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Maybe that was my goal the whole time. Also with me is Pyrolis. Hello, I am here. And also with us is a very, 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 I don't want to hype it up too much, but we have a very special guest. He's very special. Mick Snazzy Pants. Well, thank you for having me. And you're right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> yeah. She told you he's special. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it was just, it oh. was enough varies. I wanted to hype you up, but not too much. She didn't want to go too far to make it be like, holy crap, is there some weird romance going on here or something? <laughs> Hey, he is he is pretty uh, homosexual. So what is your name, Mick Snazzy Pants? My name is MC Snazzy Pants. <laughs> he has the pants of the snazzy. Pants of the snazzy. The uh, snazziest pants. Okay. He's pretty yellow and sparkly. Look so yeah, him. Mick Snazzy Pants. So we have him on the podcast, and we're going to be talking about anime today, surprisingly. I, I thought we were talking about hentai. Yes. Uh, what's the difference? I mean, that's what I watched all weekend, so. That's what I showed up for. All right, Sorry, I'll we didn't watch anything soon. before the podcast. No, nope, I mean didn't. it's kind of uncomfortable to watch that before the podcast. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, my the first time my friend watched anime was High School DxD with me. Yeah, yeah, but and you now you turn him friends. away from all anime. No, he whatsoever. enjoyed it. He enjoyed it. He's gone on to watch other things. Like, oh, are we thinking about the same person? No, I didn't think so. No, I showed him Goblin Slayer first, and he didn't like that. Oh yeah. So then I showed him like a fight scene from DXD, and he didn't like that. And I showed him Sword Online, and he didn't like that. <laughs> like he kept on saying, "Hey, I want to watch this and see if I like it." And then I show him something. He's like, "Yeah, I don't like it." I'm like, okay. Didn't you show him High School Live, and he's like, hey, "This is boring." Yeah. Yeah. School Live. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. School Live is boring. To him, yes. What? I've shown him many the anime because he keeps on saying it's so good, though. I know, but he would keep on saying, "I want to try an anime and see if I like it." And I show him an episode, no, I don't like it. Show him another one, no, I don't like it. Like just down the entire. So you showed list. him like Goblin Slayer, which is super dark. You showed him DXD, which is etchy. Yep. You showed him like School Isekai, Live, School Live, Sword Art, Sword Art, I Shield Hero. He just doesn't like anime then. Yeah. No. And Unless you a, watch something like Attack on Titan or, or like, like JoJo or Death something. Note, I've shown him Note. Tokyo Ghoul, I'm pretty sure. Like, I've shown him, like, basically something from every single genre. And oh. he's just like, I'm pretty sure I like it, but I don't like anything you've shown me. But I want to keep on seeing more. I'm like, there's no, there's nothing I can do for you. You show him a sports <laughs> anime. He's like, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to show you Girls in Panzer now. Well, unlike that weird friend, our friend Mixed Pants actually likes anime and watches it of his own free will. Or so he tells me. I do, in fact. Besides the chain of I love how Gableman. me and Jordan from Look Behind You got everyone to call you Mick Snazzy Pants. That, that makes me so happy. We saw his username and we're like, <laughs> Mick Snazzy Pants? And he's like, it's MC Snazzy Pants. And we're like, cool, Mick Snazzy Pants. Yeah, and then there was those two like guys in their 40s and 50s were like, hey, Mick Sneezy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> The internet is a fun and totally wholesome place. Completely wholesome, except for the... Yeah, not even going to go into that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, anyways, I think we're going to get right into anime. So, boom. Yeah. You wanted to talk about a show. Yes, I did. What show did you want to talk about? I wanted to talk about Rust Eater Biscuit. Sounds boring. Anyway. (laughs) You're fired. Go ahead. Oh, yay. He's free. Oh, no. Get it back. (laughs) This anyway, so I, I talked about this show way back in March. I feel like I remember you mentioning it so, a whole month ago. A whole month ago. Well, It's I, been a month? Yeah. Yeah. It's almost May, dude. 
the audience can't see this, but he's like having a seizure. Right now. I'm gonna drink alcohol here soon. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so the show's about a po- post-apocalyptic Japan where it's, like, a weird amalgamation of, like, high-tech slash really low-tech stuff. So the weirdest thing that's up with this anime is they mix all the vehicles with bugs and animals. So there's literal helicopters that are just giant snails. You're just watching the wild crats. Oh, so they didn't even make it, like, something... <laughs> Smart, like the helicopter is a dragonfly. No, it, it's, it's a snail. It's a snail. Ah, so it's Elden Ring. <laughs> yes. I just <laughs> why is it? That is weird. But anyway, so they have weird things like that, and like some of the tanks and stuff are like rhinoceroses. And, See, that one uh, makes sense. That's not a bug. I said bugs and animals. Oh, and animals. And okay. then there's like a giant mortar tank that's just an elephant. Anyways, there's weird okay. things like that. that and what happened is Tokyo got blown up by this giant mecha guy. And, Hiroshima. <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> and it started producing this rust. And this rust is like a disease that kind of spreads onto humans and people. Radiation. <laughs> I mean, humans <laughs> and uh, other things like that, right? Humans so, and people. There's these. <laughs> there's this clan of people that are able to control mushrooms. I know okay, this is just the dude's LSD trip, yes. and he's just like, I want everyone to experience So I've explained this, this all before, but I'm just going over this. So the whole the whole premise of the show is there's this doctor that is trying to cure the rust. There's all also right. this mushroom keeper, because these mushroom keepers are kind of like banished from society, because there's this whole lie made up by the government that they're actually creating the rust instead of trying to stop the rust. So they're like the survey corps. Yes, besides yeah. for more hated and actually outlawed. Okay, cool. So there's this mushroom keeper. He ends up teaming up with the doctor to try to stop the rust because they both have somebody that they know that wants to, they want him to live, not mm-hmm. die by getting rusted to death. So the whole series goes through all of this and they have a bunch of adventures where they're trying to figure, find this one mushroom that's called the rust eater mushroom. And they go on this whole adventure. They meet a bunch of people. The end of it is they finally find the rust eater mushroom, right? And the bad guy is this evil governor bureaucrat that wants to keep on producing the rust. They're actually producing the rust now instead of it being a natural occurring thing. Sounds they familiar. Keep, yeah, they keep people sick. They keep them supplied with medicine that just keeps them alive and just keeps them from dying. So they can constantly get money from them. Makes sense. So he tries stopping the... They tr- he tries stopping... Um, the mushroom keeper is called Bisco, and then the doctor is called Milo. Mm-hmm. I think it's Milo or Mio, Milo. Yeah. Anyways, so they end up fighting him and somewhat defeating him by like throwing him in a vat of molten rust for some <laughs> reason. Isn't that just it, lava? Yes, it's, it's, it looks just like lava. And the during the fight though, Bisco gets also also dies he basically pushes the guy into the molten lava and they both sink and die so this is the final fight of this series yes this is the final couple episodes the the whole show really isn't like that notable yeah like i see that i say they do a bunch of stuff and all they actually do is just a bunch of stuff yeah there's nothing like really like that stands out they help a bunch of kids they help elderly couples stuff like that Oh, okay and the end of the show is so the governor guy found one of the old mechs that blew up Tokyo. It's non-operational, but he's trying to get up and running to produce more of the rust. Mm-hmm. So this whole facility has is built around the mech. There's a pool of rust lava, and he dies, supposedly. The whole place gets blown up, and Bisco dies, and Milo lives, right? So they think it's all over, and they save the whole world, and he's going to like spread the rust eater mushroom and save everybody. Yeah. The mech wakes up and goes on a whole rampage exactly through the path that they went throughout the whole show. So, like, everything they did, the mech goes and blows it up. (laughs) And the mech is just spreading the rust. (laughs) So Milo's like, well, I have to, like, 
fulfill my destiny and also like fulfill Bisco's destiny and trying to stop the mech. Mm -hmm. So he's like chasing the mech with, oh, they also just use bow and arrows, by the way. Okay. So he's fighting a mech with a bow and arrow. Best thing to take out a giant mushroom mech. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it works. This have is where it gets crazy. He's fighting with some of his friends that he met along the way. He's fighting the giant mech robot. It turns out that the evil governor dude, for some reason, when he melted into the rust, melded with the <laughs> mech, the mech. So he's going on this rampage of revenge and destruction because Bisco was helping people. So the mech is trying to destroy him and go get back to their hometown where the governor ruled over the town. And he wants to destroy that town for whatever reason. So Milo's trying to stop the governor, evil mech governor guy. Yeah. And for some, yes. Was there any bit of Bisco left in the mecha? Or We're was... coming up to that. Uh -huh. uh, this reminded me of just Lord Business. <laughs> We're coming up to that. So Milo almost has him defeated. And then the, the rope, because they're just about to the town where the governor and like this all started, the mm -hmm. town that the governor ran. And he's about to destroy it with the rust like cloud. Milo is about to stop him, but then the mech like smacks him into the wall and he about dies. Yeah. Out of the blue, Bisco, like Jesus, comes popping out of the mech. And somehow he turned into a mushroom life god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. He Man turns into a god, an immortal god comes back to life to help Milo because he heard Milo calling for him through the afterlife. <laughs> so he pops out of the mech, comes back to life, and now he has the power that whenever he shoots his bow and arrow, he can just create the rust eater mushrooms. <laughs> and they end up defeating the mech. And the story ends by them just going off on another adventure, trying to turn Bisco from, basically turn him back to a human from being a god. What? Because <laughs> he doesn't want to live forever. What? I don't think you can become a human after being a god. I don't think that, you can become I a god after I don't think these show dying. creators care. I was when... going to say, you know, this sounds like the time. What The time we're in now, what came first, the mushroom or the bat? And if this, in real life, plays out like the show, <laughs> I'm scared to find out who the heck the freaking mushroom god is. <laughs> you mean the bat guy? That that plot sounds But it's weird because there's nothing notable throughout the whole show. There's and like then the there's, ending is just random bull crap. Yeah, it's just random bull crap. Like I was talking to a couple people on Twitter today because I was it like explains it in the manga. I was trying to talk to people and figure out what the heck's <laughs> what there's there's no manga to no? this that, that I know of. This is is this just oh, an original that, creation? That makes yeah. sense. <laughs> That's pro yeah. And it Those feels like an L S D trip. Yeah. Because the doctor goes from being this wimpy doctor to the end, at the end of the 13 episodes, he's fighting a giant mech <laughs> with a bow and arrow. Beating on his chest like the savage. It is. also sounds like the villain is like, kind of like those Marvel movie villains where they're like, I have a legitimate reason for doing this. Cool. Now I'm going to blow up a children's hospital. No, we have to stop you. I mean, the show is crazy enough that in like episode two, he's helping this girl <laughs> uh, that is trying to follow them and kind of like um, betray them because yeah. she's like hired by the governor to betray him. Well, she gets sick with these stomach mushrooms mm -hmm. or these stomach slugs. So to save her, he has to kiss her and pull out the giant slug that's in her mouth. Like that's how crazy the show is. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Where Were the slugs in the stomach or in the mouth? They were in the stomach and so somehow he pulled it out through the mouth. That, uh, that's some suction power. Tongue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Either tongue or suction power. It's one or two. <laughs> it is so weird because like she's like puking up these like larva eggs. And he's like, oh, I know what to do. Just kisses her. <laughs> and the next thing you know, she's like, he's pulling out this literal like football sized slug out of her mouth. And you're just like, what the hell is going on? Oh, Unless he goodness. just like sucked her soul out I and her soul know. was a fucking slug. <laughs> that sounds like something that would happen in JoJo. There's a part where they're like this one guy, uh, they're like, we want you to be, he wants to be part of their gang or whatever. And so to like prank them, prank him, they like 
pee in a cup and give it to him. It's like, here's your tea. Now drink it all down. It's like the ceremony if you really want to be part of this. So he's got this like power where he turns one of his teeth into like this like slug or something that like would absorb urine and then just downs the drink. That's his power. It turns it's, into a slug that can, can turn, specifically absorb urine? No, he can turn anything oh. into like uh into plant or animal life basically uh, so he just did that and it was just like it was like a... he would still taste it <laughs> though know. that's like <laughs> number five hundred eighty three uh, not to watch jojo that that is part five really i yeah. thought it got more i thought it got less crazy oh no it gets crazier as it goes oh, well God. i guess part six isn't now part six also had just like i'm randomly gonna drop uh, poison dart frogs from this guy because I can control the weather. I missed part one where it was just, hey, JoJo is going to fight vampires. I Half the comments two. once you get later in the season is like, remember when this was like fighting a vampire? <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I was about to say your real name, but Pyrolis, what do you watch? What do I watch? What did you watch? Oh, all right. What we know what you read. You what did you want to talk about that you watched recently? So I actually watched a few anime. A few? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, first and foremost, I started on season two of, um, what's it called? We, we can get to that later. Anyway. Rise uh, of the Shield here? No. Oh. Uh, life is, the Atome game is too hard for a mob. Is one of them that I watched. Is that a new seasonal one? Yes, it's a oh. new seasonal one. I read the manga to it. Uh, honestly, I'm a little saddened because yeah. the uh, manga, the anime derives a little bit from the manga. Like, it goes off the rails a bit from the manga. Like, not all the way, but there are some scenes and some things that would have definitely helped explain stuff better Yeah, mm. uh, that they missed and didn't put in there. That's okay. most anime. Yeah. But overall, it's pretty good. Basically, it's about this guy... Uh, he, it's an isekai. Uh, he starts out basically as a salary worker, uh, and his sister makes dirt on him. Basically, uh, he's not in his current house, but his sister uses old room to stash her uh, BL manga and books. Yeah. For those who don't know who BL, what BL is, it's basically just... Uh, it's boy love. Boy love, love. Boys yeah. love manga, yeah. Yeah. Nah. So she would she stashed that in his closet. One day his mom was cleaning his room while he was gone. Open the closet, like, what's all this? <laughs> and asked him, but I was like, that's not mine. And his sister, uh, who is a conniving little rat, was like, yeah, no, that's his. And so he uh, basically got in trouble from his mom, who he's not even living with because he's an adult, but he still got in trouble with her. And to clear his name, he's like, okay. What do I need to do? She's like, play this Atomi game for me because it is too hard for me to play. He's like, fine, whatever. Anyway, at, yeah. Do you know what Atomi game is? I don't care about the Atomi game. Oh. That is a rat of a sister. Exactly. I have a lot of sisters, and that is a rat. Okay, I have a couple ideas what Atomi game is, but I'm not exactly sure. So basically, it's a dating simulator, but je- uh, geared towards women. That's what I thought. Okay. So oh. you're, you're the main character is a woman, and you're trying to date men. So she makes him play that. Ah, but it's it was like designed like the basically the game's super hard because it's got fighting and ships and mechs uh, and the game the what it's centered on the basics of the game and the world that you will get isekai into is women hold a supreme power men can do men are forced to do the fighting the working the everything while the women get to sit back and do nothing so uh, it's pretty much like reality swap not really. Not really. We're kind of yeah, at least in America. We're I don't equal. think we force women to do the fighting. No. and all that stuff. But. No, but I mean, you know, the, the kitchen and the laundry room. And they have their own battles. <laughs> 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 Anyways, um, he was he was forced to play this game. The basically the he hates the game. He hates everything about the game. The women can have actual little girls can actually have their own lovers, like slaves that are. They're lovers, and the guy a has concubine? to be. Yeah, then the guy has to be okay with that. And he's like, you yeah, know, I hate every single part of this game. And then, like as he finishes it, like he stays up because he has to get it finished before uh, she comes back. She's gone for like four days on vacation. Yeah. Uh, he fin- he like as he finishes it, he's like, wait a minute, because she sent him a picture of the vacation, and he's like, wait a minute, how'd she get money to go to this place? I know I didn't give her money. 
She did ask mom about books, about tuition book money. Ooh. So he's like, mom, 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 look what I found. And like sends her the picture. And he's like, ha, 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 take that. I'm not finishing this dumb game. And then he walks out to like do a celebratory walk to the convenience store. And he's so sleepy, he ends up falling down the stairs and breaking his head open. <laughs> you know, I will say one thing. Isekais have been getting more and more uh, creative. And how they send their main characters to another world. I was expecting world. him to get hit by a car or something. That's hilarious. I was no, expecting he, a truck. He's so but... sleepy, he just slips. like, I'm not going to die like this, am I? <laughs> and he died like that. Um, <sighs> then he gets reincarnated, and he remembers... He is like five years old, and he remembers everything. He's like, oh no, where am I? Oh god. And then he uh, asks his brother, he's like, so men really have no power? And his older brother's like, yeah, that's kind of obvious. Uh, do you see how our mom treats dad like she just lives in the capital and she's the main because he's basically the when you're uh so you can become an adventurer and get a nobility but if you're a noble you're forced to marry someone you have to marry a woman ah. because they have they're the ones that hold the power so in order for you to keep your power you have to marry someone to keep that power so it's kind of like history and royalty stuff kind like of reverse. yeah basically yeah so he married the lady and then she moved she like stayed in the city while he provided money for her, and he had like the wife that he actually wanted. Um. Anyways, the guy like once he hits like fourteen, the Zora, the main wife woman thing, is like, yeah, I'm gonna marry you off to a uh, acquaintance of mine's daughter, and it shows a picture, and it's like a fifty year old, very big lady, and he's like, yeah, no, I don't want this at all. It's like, why not? Yeah, all of her nine ex-lovers have died in combat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't want this. I don't want any part of this. Combat with her? <laughs> it never, never uh, digresses. Must be a scary bedroom. <laughs> Probably. But no, uh, so he's like, death. He, he's like, what, remember something from the game? And he remembers like an ultimate item he bought. So he goes and gets that. Mm -hmm. Then he comes back. He's like, I'm powerful now, which he is. Because he's got a futuristic ship. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so this basically. That was like a really weird, just weird show. I'm basically. I thought my show was going to be weird for today. I'm skimming over it. That way you guys are interested and watch it. And then I don't spoil everything. Uh, so I'm just skimming over it. See, your Zerboom sounded like a slightly bent history of Japan right after World War II. <laughs> His is just like straight off the wall banana. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, it's great because he goes to the school where like, and uh, his sister ended up dying somehow and reincarnating there too, mm -hmm. but they don't know that it's each other. Oh. So the sister is like, I hate something about that guy. And the maker is <laughs> like, I hate something about that girl. Can't quite put my finger on it. That's great. That's great. Uh, but it, it's really amazing because uh, the what I find funny is the sister's like, Finally, women have uh, equal rights here. It's like, but the men are basically enslaved and worked to the bone. I see how this is. Because she's like a narcissist, not a bad uh, person. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a good show. I recommend it. Sounds interesting. Yeah. I recommend the manga good. more than the anime, but yeah, I digress. Nice. It, it, it did the anime rush through it more, or is it just... Did it change uh, it, a lot of stuff? It didn't change... It changed a lot of small stuff. Oh, okay. Which is why I'm not complaining too much, because while it did change the stuff, it was more of minuscule things. Can't be as bad as Rise of the Shield Hero Season 2. I haven't tried watching it yet. I mean, they just killed the spirit tortoise, and it's only episode 3. Really? It yeah. took like a whole book to do that. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> At least they supposedly did. I don't know what's going on. It's just... How many times have they cut that off? One time. Oh, all right. You're good. Okay. But anyways, it's just, it's weird. <laughs> Rise of the Shield just feels so rushed. Like, they went from the spirit tortoise awakening to they're fighting the spirit tortoise, and it's only mm -hmm. episode three. Did they at least go through, like, the Tyrannosaurus Rex monster thing? What? No. Oh. That's supposed to happen first. Oh, but I didn't. Okay. We met the familiar lady that can control uh... gravity for, like... A half an episode. Yeah. 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 That's about it. Okay. Yeah, so far this anime is pretty off track from the novel from what yeah, I can tell. Yeah, sounds like it. That's why I've been talking to people on Twitter about, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. My other anime that I have watched... Yeah. ...is uh, 
Yusha Yamamasu. I don't know what the English translation is. Uh, but I also read this manga. Basically, this guy... So this guy is the hero, right? But he's basically... This world is our world, but a very long time in the future. So, like, in our time, essentially, a uh, demon lord invaded. And so in order to propel the demon lord, uh, Japan made uh, genetically engineered people that can use magic and fight against the uh, demon people. And so uh, they made those, but the humanity is still lost. And like over time, like we push them back, but every time they came, we basically just degraded more and more uh, to the past. So basically just eventually after hundreds and thousands of years, we became this society of basically we live in the ruins of the skyscrapers, but we built like villages and stuff. So it's medieval, but you can see like the old skyscrapers in the background and the wastelands. It's post-apocalyptic. Like yes. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I like post-apocalyptic shows. Pretty yeah. interesting. And people have magic and swords and stuff. Nice. And uh, it starts out with the guy just walking into the, he just defeated the demon lord lady. And he goes in and he's like, yeah, I'd like a job uh, working for you guys. I'm sick of being the hero. And <laughs> and like she's like, no, get out of here and kicks him out. And she like he like talks to the, her subordinates, the f four great generals. And they're like, why do you want to be uh, on our side? I said, well, uh, after I saved them, and he doesn't really tell them how old he is or like the fact that he's essentially immortal and he's been on here for a while and defeated every single demon general. He was like, yeah, uh, after I, I defeated you guys, they basically uh, treated me with cold stares and tried to execute me and I got a little sick of it. And after some time thinking by myself and thinking am i is it really worth being alive anymore i just kind of fell into here so that way i could have something worth doing I'm like oh that's so sad. he's like saying all this nonchalantly <laughs> and like one of them just tears up starts crying he's like yeah i mean it's all right i mean i'm gonna cry over it but because he's just like basically emotionless for the most part yeah yeah because he's well you said that he like people are altered but they lost their humanity well no he was uh genetically engineered right but they lost their uh, humanity is that what you're saying no Not like a witcher no, they didn't lose their humanity. He's just he was he's he's emotionless because he was. Born oh, I to be thought you said soldier. like people are losing their humanity or something. No, no, just over the years, people were like the humanity the, was the digressing. Oh, yeah, the technology is digressing. Oh, okay. And they're using more magic and less science. Oh, I thought you said the people that were altered lost their humanity. No. Oh, okay. The English title is "I'm Quitting Heroine." Yeah. Oh, I heard of that one. Okay. It's, it's pretty good. I like it. Now in six pretty close to the manga yeah it's pretty funny i like it one of the four great generals is like a child but a wolf fenrir child and it's very adorable and funny because all of her reports she's a child she just draws pictures <laughs> <laughs> like uh one of her reports like because he the main main character is they're trying to get him to teach her how to be a proper leader and like so the sorcerer lady, she's like, yeah, no, uh, this person isn't doing that well. Well, why not? Isn't she a four great general? This was her last report. And it's like, it's just, just a picture of like a bunch of people and crayon drawings, like monsters and all her stuff. And it says, we're going to have a very big fun time. Because <laughs> it was supposed to be a report of uh, getting resources from right. the city. That's, That's great. funny. That's cool. Well, that sounds like a fun anime. It is. Yeah, I like it. It's sad in the manga later on and yeah. i'm kind of looking forward to that kind of not nice because it was yeah but you want to see how they progress the story in the anime like yeah, the I manga do. I do. at right. the same time like in the manga he basically finally let them know yeah no oh uh, this is my past this will happen because they're looking for the uh, philosopher stone yeah there's two philosopher stones one of them is uh held by the church and the philosopher stone can like redo all the stuff like it can re remake a land and stuff like that yeah if it's used properly and the other one is inside of him because uh that that's basically what runs him that's why he's immortal oh damn. plot convenience yeah that and it's not really a philosopher's <laughs> stone it's something else but ah. just just science yeah but no he basically hears because he's like well why do you even want to invade as he's like disguised why do you even want to invade this place and she's like well i just need the philosopher's stone to that way the demon realm because it's just barren wasteland and we right. fight over like the littlest bit of food sick of it just want to make it better and basically the main character is just well this person is doing her hardest to uh and put it suffer, make herself suffer to try and get this so that she can save her people so it gets to the point where it's like well i'm kind of sick of living why don't you just kill me and has like a final battle type thing mm. oh cool 
Yeah. Well, anyways. Uh, are we about to add yeah, time? Yeah, it's break time. Add time. Add time. We'll be back, and we're going to be talking more to McSnazzy Pants about his anime stuff that he's watched recently. Dilly dilly. All right. Add all time. Later. Add time. What? You said you were ready. We're oh, I forgot I was hosting. Oh, come on. You had one <laughs> job. <laughs> hey, everyone. We're back. Hi. There, we can just edit it right there. Hi, Beck. I'm yeah, back. Yeah, sure. we'll, we'll edit it in later. Thanks, Boom. You're welcome. <laughs> you, you, yeah. I Love pay you. you. I pay you for this. So You paid him for the mic? Good, good job. You pay me? I pay you to edit. You get a... What? Portion of the profits from uh, ah, what we make off so the podcast. Dude, Fox. this is sweet. I get like two cents now. Yeah. Yes. I can quit. Where's... I can do this full time. What? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's enough to retire on right there. Heck yeah. Two uh, cents. I was going to say, Africa. you can't quit this job. What the heck? <laughs> I'm not quitting this job. I'm getting this job. Let's go. All right. Well, anyways. um, Boom. You want to interview Nick Snazzy? <laughs> you, you, Why? Because you don't want to? No, because you were mentioning that you had like you were going to interview him. Well, I, I mean, but I we can normally do. Hey, Mick Snazzy. What's up, Weez? What What's your um? What's What's your favorite anime? Oh God, I knew this question was coming. <laughs> Are you like me where you can't really decide? Well, I have. The last time you were on the show, your favorite anime was Angel. That's Beats. because it made him cry. Get, give me your top. That's three. Be, my top three. That's easy. That's Angel Beats, Vinland Saga, and One Punch Man. Ooh, okay, nice. which one is on top? How excited for Vinland Saga season two are you? Very excited. All right. I'm also very excited. Meh. Oh. Screw Shut you. Shut up! Boo. You're about to go <laughs> see The Northman, which is pretty much a one-for-one one copycat. Of Vinland Saga. I heard it was basically Hamlet, or like so, a remix of Hamlet or something. Anyways, we're oh. starting up uh, Anime Nights going to watch Vinland Saga. I guess Boom is no longer invited. Dude, shut up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's Let's go. go. <laughs> I actually got Amazon Prime. I can watch this legally. Wow. Oh, that's sick. That's You're crazy. actually going to watch an anime legally? Hey, man, it's not been done in a while. Actually, that is false. On the way to Detroit uh, for the one part-time job I got, I started watching, um, what's it called? It's the one, it's on Amazon Prime. It's about the girls with the guns that are on the front lines. Girl front Ow. line battlefront? Yeah, yeah, that one. It's just the two that are just chugging along. Yeah. Oh, last tour. Gir- um, yeah, yeah. Girls yeah. last tour? Yeah, girls last tour. Ah, I hear that was really good. It's also really depressing. So far, it's pretty good. And I can already tell it's depressing because yeah. of the landscape. I'm like, oh, this could be a sad one. Yeah. I'm only in episode two. Anyways, back to uh, Mix it, yeah. MC. So for top anime, it I can't narrow it down. It's a toss-up between One Punch Man and Vinland Saga. What's the worst anime you've seen? The worst anime I've seen? Oh, man. Well... I liked Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaba, mm-hmm. the first time I watched it. I thought it was interesting. Yeah. And then I rewatched it again, and it was it didn't have the same feeling as it had. Where I rewatched One Punch Man, mm. I had even better feelings about that the yeah. F- yeah. second time around watching it. Demon Slayer is significantly worse the second time. It is... It's even worse the third time. Yeah. For me, it was worse the first time. That's why I never finished. It gets... it. The problem is, the first time you watch it, it's kind of interesting to see. It feels more realistic. It was also one of the first anime I had yeah. watched. It was like... I felt it's a good entry-level anime yeah, to watch. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. And then looking back on it, I'm like, well, it was maybe fine. not the best entry-level anime to watch. And yeah. then... But it just seemed too, I suppose, like normy. Mm-hmm. It's like your cut and dry, cookie cutter anime. Yeah. yeah. Anime. Unfortunately, that is what it is. Yeah. I mean, there there are some odd premises to it, but you kind of have the basic like there's that ladder of enemies that the, he has to fight, and eventually he's gonna like fight them. He's gonna lose to it, and then he has to come back and yeah. beat them. Just, yeah. just saying it, I uh, called it. It's a really good show in that it's well made, but it's not particularly exciting in how it tells its story. It doesn't take much risks. It's yeah. it's pretty safe. Yeah. But it's good. Most it's... people actually did not like the ending of the manga, so that kind of tells you a yeah. lot about the story. Forehead guy wasn't even a woman. Well, <laughs> maybe. I mean that what? 
Not in that version, but in Demon Slayer Explained Badly. In the Dojin. <laughs> so, are you saying that the worst anime you've seen is Demon Slayer? No. I haven't seen many anime. But okay, but what out of all of that you've seen, what's the worst one? Probably God Eater. Not God Dead Man's e- Wonderland? God Eater. What's Dead Man's so- Wonderland was honestly terrible. <laughs> But it had the redeeming OVA. <laughs> the OVA was glorious. That OVA almost carried the whole anime. For did, did, they yeah. just did that. For so the did you dislike God Eater more than um, Haikyu? Um, I thought he was one of. I thought you were one of them that liked Haikyu. I wasn't a big fan of no, Haikyu. No, me didn't, didn't like, like ah, Haikyu. Okay. Um, honestly, I kind of liked Haikyu a little bit better than God Eater. Oh dang! Because. God Eater had a lot they were trying to do, mm. but not very much time to do it in. And I didn't like many of the characters. Oh, okay. Hey, McSnazzy, want to watch a good volleyball uh, anime? Maybe. Watch Real Life. Volleyball is in it for three episodes, but it's the best volleyball anime you'll ever watch. There, there's a dodgeball scene in Hunter x Hunter where they use a volleyball. That's dodgeball. I mean, the account. best like uh baseball scene i've ever seen is from assassination <laughs> that's <laughs> true that was great that's on my watch list or angel beats i mean it's pretty tied but i think assassination classroom is better than angel beats for baseball watch little yeah. busters little busters that's an actual baseball anime yeah okay <laughs> Only probably probably anime there's I quite watch. a few baseball anime actually yeah Baseball is really big in Japan. It, it is. is yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of surprising. It came to Japan during World War II because of the American soldiers. Like, and they the just sun. fell in love with it. Well, I baseball why, and but... Christianity is what America introduced to them because we came in after Hiroshima and Nagasaki to help them clean up. Clean up. Yeah. Baseball but, caught I on mean, a the, the point yeah. was that they just liked it. I mean, no, and I'm saying how, the history of it, how it was introduced. I mean, I didn't really care about telling people the history. Well, I do. Anyways, uh, so you said the worst anime you watch is God Eater. Yes. Okay. What's God Eater then? I've never so, watched it. So God Eater is another one of those post-apocalyptic type worlds. Okay. Um, is where... it like Soul Eater? No. I okay. haven't watched more than two or three episodes of Soul Eater. Okay. Um, but it, I, don't think it, I don't think it was like Soul Eater very much. So, how it started was um, this little single-celled organism that some scientists, I don't remember if they cooked it up or if they just found it accidentally, um, started poking and prodding with it, and it started to grow and grow and manifest and evolve into giant pillars that started spiking up through the ground and weird, strange animals. Another okay. thing that I didn't like about it was the animation style. I wasn't a big fan of the animation. Everything seemed, it almost seemed too glossy. See, it's based off of a game. Oh. And the game has a very glossy uh, animation style, so they kept with the game animation. I thought it was a Chinese manga. It might have been, but I know of it from the games. Okay. So. I might be wrong. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I don't remember all the details of the show exactly, but they somehow made a device that can... It, I don't think it repelled the organism, but they didn't go to it. It kind of... They kind of avoided it and went around it. Oh, okay. So, and they put some of those devices on buildings, and when the pillars came up, it completely changed, like, the surface of the earth. Yeah. And the only buildings that survived, and the people, pretty much, were in those buildings. Okay. And so, fast forward a little bit into the, quote, present, um, the main hero, the main character of all of it, is wandering the Badlands, which is pretty much where all the monsters hang out. And there's like little groups of people, but there are a few certain cities 
that have survived due to the devices that they've put up. Okay. Yep. But the only people that are allowed inside are people that have a certain blood type that can fuse with a weapon they call the God Arc. And they use the God Arcs to kill the monsters. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Kind of sounds like a mixture of like Attack on Titan and uh, uh, which one I was thinking of that has a disease? Tokyo and, Ghoul. Mm, Tokyo Ghoul is kind of like that, but it doesn't have like a world ending disease. That That's debatable. Well, kind of. Sounds like t- Attack on Titan a little bit. Yeah, I haven't seen Attack on Titan. That was one I was kind of on the fence on watching. It's it's good. Uh, it's you might like it. It's definitely got some high and low points. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So that is the worst anime you've seen. Probably just and... because of story, animation, and how they ended it. Wow, the okay. animation's bad. Is yeah. it? Is it the one? It's you... like three D CG. Ah, uh, kind of. And it's an older one too, so it's back into a bad. CG. Oh, he's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it your most disliked or just the it's worst you'd rate? Probably my most disliked. If I were to rate them, it would be down with probably, um, what was that one? Blood Blockade? No, not Blood Blockade. Cancer? Oh, um, I know what you're talking about. Dead Man Wonder. Dead Man Wonder. Yeah. I don't know why I was oh. thinking. So I gotta say, how dare you talk about Blood Blockade like I... that? That's a great. Oh God, what the heck is going <laughs> exactly. on? Exactly. That's the main character. No, that's not the main character. No, that's that. That just... is a woman yes. that has had her skin turned into. <laughs> it looks worse when it moves. It is worse when it moves. Right yeah. side looks better than the animation for Ruby. Although oh. I. <laughs> That is kind of true. That is true. That's at legit least getting an anime adaptation. I saw. I'm not impressed. The anime actually looks pretty good. At, okay, Ruby had a better story than this. Ruby had a good story. Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't heard much about God Eater except that people said it was terrible. Yeah. It was pretty terrible. I want a red versus blue anime. <laughs> Another thing that made it terrible was the main character's like blood type was so... It was all negative. Know. Advanced, I suppose. For... He had the uh, main character syndrome. Yeah, where the more he used his god arc, the more his body started degrading, and he was just going to kind of become a puddle of mush. Ah, fun. But instead of, at the very last battle that I had, instead of dying, he kind of went super sand. And then yeah. turned into super mushroom sand. Jesus. And then, no, that would have actually made it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I would have at least put it two levels above Dead if Man turned Wonderland into Jesus. if he turned into Mushroom Jesus. Yes. <laughs> so what did he end up doing? Um, He went Super Saiyan. Did he just like heal himself after that? No. So what the disease did to him was it kind of like turned his skin like red and like, I don't know. It looked almost like Mars. His body he turned into Mars? His skin <laughs> looked like the surface of Mars. Okay. But like all of it. Okay. And he just yeah. survived. And he survived and his hair went from black to shining gold. <laughs> He's who One Punch Man fights. Oh! You're right. He's Dang. Space God or whatever they call him. That's not Earth. That's just a different planet. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, his story ties up nicely. 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. A billion out of five. Until he gets one blasted by one punch man. Yeah, right. I did kind of like the, um, they have, so like in the world, there's different branches of the organization that's fighting the monsters and they get some help from a, from the Soviet branch. <laughs> and so, um, this girl from the Soviet branch has the same type of God arc as the main character. They both have like the next evolution of the god arc the next yeah. it's like the biggest shiniest she thing. turns into goo though doesn't she no oh she, she goes has, super saiyan no she oh. has ptsd and is a flake <laughs> sounds oh. like shinji sure yeah you should watch evangelion no. yeah you, you should i'm you scared of evangelion. <laughs> yeah why are you scared of evangelion What's because of the it? choir of all black people singing that what have you never seen that yeah that's yeah. an awesome clip yeah they have an... no idea what they're singing exactly that's why it scares me <laughs> you would hate it 
He would really hate it. I don't Nate. think he would. Which is why I want him to watch it. I, I want all my friends to watch Evangelion, so that way they can all hate me. Yeah. But you should watch it. There's and then watch the rebuilds and actually like Evangelion like I do. There's one good I scene that. where there's comedy where he like has a, a, a with a bottle of beer, can of beer. That, that's the best. It covers his uh Hey, that manhood. joke was so good they redid it in the rebuilds. <laughs> Yeah. It was the Simpsons did a better version of that joke. Did they? <laughs> yes, nice. a way better in the Simpsons movie. You know that means that the Simpsons copied even Galleon, right? I don't know. I don't care. All I know is it was funny and it was a whole lot better than even Galleon <laughs> did. Well, anyways, you watched Noragami recently. I did. I watched the first season. Let's go. How does that make you feel? Um, <laughs> depressed? I don't know. No, not depressed. Sad? No. Happy. How does the first season end? The first season ends... What, do you not remember? Not really. Wow. Oh, dang. How does it end? I just kind of jumped straight into the first couple episodes of season two. I made two. nice oh, job. Yeah, you gave him I actually well, don't remember how Where are you at? Later. Um... Uh... The oh, one, he just defeats, um... The one doctor dude killed Yukane's cherry oh, tree friend. Oh, dang. Yeah. What? There's people that die in yeah. origami? There's, there's a lot of people that die in with the eyeball masks. Yeah. The, okay, uh, uh, the oh! Nora. Oh! Yeah. yeah. That, the oh. prostitute. I weapon. hate yeah. that guy. That guy sucks. Yeah, he does suck. He's a prick. I hate him so much. Oh, I do too. So wait, is the end of season one where they like smite him? No, that's end of season two. No, right? that's no. like halfway through season two. I think. Nice job. Um, you end of... For... <laughs> was it Yukine gets um Yukine gets um uh he gets his evil taken out of him yeah, or whatever. He yeah. gets the eyeballs. Oh, off his that's back. right, yeah. But then they go up against um They go after a giant um soul eater guy. Kind of. They go after another god of chaos. Yeah. Who is mm. I think he was supposed to have been dead. Right. For a really oh, long time. Oh, yeah. No, that, he, isn't that his... Um... He tries to get Yato to go back to like being a... Yeah, Yato he planet. tries to yeah. reawaken yeah. Yato's and then Yato old kills self. Yeah. I remember yeah. that there's that giant, epic, really beautiful fight yeah. at the end in the water and stuff. And then like yeah, Yori that is kind of like trapped with them and she's like slowly dying. Yeah. Oh, that's that such fight, a good fight. That's actually like a one-shot like manga that's like is separate it? from the main story. That's cool. Yeah. It's actually not in the main story of... Origami. Kind of sounds like uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, where they have a whole story just like oh, before yeah. the main story even starts. So you're liking Noragami then? I'm liking Noragami. Cool. Let's cool. go. Um, it was like the second or third anime I watched. Who is your favorite yeah. character? Favorite character. That's a tough one. Um, and why is it the bikini top? Yes. Yeah. Why not the bottom? What's wrong with the bikini bottom? <laughs> um, because whenever they talk about it, it only shows the top for some reason. Because the top's mm. the only woman. <laughs> yeah. The bottom is the guy, isn't it? So they're twins, right? Uh, yeah, they're twins. Like, there's the guy, which is the bottom, and there's the. Oh, I thought they were both top. girls. I Wait, don't remember? No, there's, they were both girls. There's two girls that are the pistols, and then there's another girl, which is just her suit. Oh, okay. Yeah, suit. it's just one that's yeah. the suit. Okay. No way! I thought the pistols were twins, but one was a guy, one was a girl. I think they were both girls. I know in Soul Eater, the two pistols are, are girls. both girls. Yeah, because they're the um, Thompson Cowboy. twins. Yeah, yeah, Cowgirl. I think they're both. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. The, uh, the guys are the lion and her earring that gives her uh, tracking. Yeah. Stuff. Imagine wearing Cosmo people for school. clothes. Oh, I might be confusing the whip with one of the guns. Because I think the whip Maybe. is a girl. Whip someone's too. Yeah. There's so many. God, she has too many. She has that's, so many. That's one thing that I didn't exactly like about Noragami is the fact that they're just collecting items and that collected people. It just got to be so many. People. I like that. That's actually a big plot point in the story, though. Yeah. Just imagine you're ripping only, my shirt off and it's, it's a person. It's only her that does it. No well, one yeah, it really is only her. That. That's true. Okay, never mind. I yeah. I remembered it slightly different. I thought it was like all of the gods just collected people. No, they're not no, like, like that one. hunters. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Oh, look, there's Humanity. a spirit here. You're mine now. Instead of going shopping for clothing, it's just like, oh, look, there's people. <laughs> look, nice. You'd make a nice shirt. Me. You may think this is a normal nose ring, but in reality, it's a human being. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that should be like a um, an origami bridge. That would be hilarious. Could you imagine the horror? That, like, imagine the first time like being turned on that and you're a piece of clothing. Like, what am I? Oh, men's underwear. <laughs> Yay. How do you think the bikini twins felt? That's what I mean. I was like, Yay. well, they are both master. women. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. It's a guy. I still would not want to be the bikini bottom for another dude. Yeah. I, yeah. But they're armor. But still, it's, actually, just, it's still okay, you. It's funny. Have you seen her suit of armor? Um, her suit of armor. She has a sweet. suit of armor too, yeah. but the bikini is apparently more powerful armor than the suit of armor. Well, yeah, it's just like the magic. It uses cards. the gamer logic too, where since it's less clothing, she can move easier, mm -hmm, which is yeah. funny. Well, it's like having a, it's, if you were a sword and you're faced with a sword, you're getting cut through things. That I don't know. I don't think that feel too good. It's, yeah, it's I mean, uh, like, in Soul Eater, they liked it. You're the. Um, mm. You're the item, and you kind of have a will of your own. So, like, mm. depending on how good you are at it, you're more, you're stronger, or whatever, which is cool. Yeah, and I thought that was interesting. I that, am like, the best as bikini he was fighting, I can be. Yeah, and they kept like getting yeah, hurt, getting dull and, like, and whatever. You could notice like the sword actually start bleeding. Yeah, yeah. which I yeah. thought was weird. And then once I thought about it, I'm like, well, you know, if someone picked me up and started bashing me <laughs> against people, I'm sure I'd bleed eventually too. Yeah. So there's like some gods that are really in tune with their, uh, with their. Um, what are they called, Hashra or whatever? Yeah, it doesn't even hurt them to use them as weapons. And so, yeah, it doesn't. It's just like, and and they don't go dull. They're like super sharp and like really well yeah. like made. There's one guy later on who can't fight at all, but his like, his Hashra are so good that allows him to be like a fist fighter. They're like gloves. He's pretty cool. Imagine being a sword and like your guy, your main guy missing. So you like get cut through a tree. Then you end up stuck there. Like, what happens if you like a person, Yeah, your you're stuck in half a tree. <laughs> like, uh, can, can you come? It just like oh, video game, fun. like stuck through a wall or something. Yeah, so you're like, oh. you all like, help me, please. So there's gun ones, right? What yeah. happens if you take the gun apart and clean it? Yeah. <laughs> like, or what if uh, you're, uh, what if you're a clothing, or like, let's say you're a ring and you like slips you in his pocket for a moment and just throws you in the wash with the rest. I was just of gonna clothes. say, like, do you like, have to wash your uh, your guy like the? People? I'm pretty like, sure Do you can... have to wash the whites and the reds separately? Because do they turn like <laughs> different colors? Like, that, like... That's what I mean. Like, imagine how awful that be. It's like, well, time to go to wash. No, <laughs> person just wait, wait, comes wait, wait, back no, I'm a they're... Blah, 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 blah. And they're pink. <laughs> <laughs> he did not separate me from the whites. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and the the actual pink like underwear person's like sorry I had no choice. All I had was pink and red. I couldn't transform back in the washer. That would have landed even worse for both of us. We would have drowned. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> like it's that's the type of situations you gotta think about when it comes <laughs> yeah. to these things. So we see in the show we see people like there's the fan one yeah he's kind of a weapon but he's more like utility anyway. i'd rather be there's the clip. mirror she's a there's a mirror one that yeah. was yeah. broken for a while so the logic tells me there's an oven there's a microwave <laughs> there's a vacuum right there's oh, gotta definitely. be a vacuum is there a toilet there is all... there just there's gotta be a toilet there's a toilet there's, a toilet. there's gotta be a television right there's just one that transforms whatever, whatever we want to watch 50 too. inch flat screen plasma <laughs> tv <laughs> What you got to be a plasma. I'm just an old box TV that I'll break your table. You set me on. <laughs> Whatever they get turned into depends on the god that chooses them and them. Yeah. So it's kind of random because they're just like, I name you. And it's just like turns into a Like well, yeah, uh, Kazuma turned into a nail or whatever that well, stuck into her ear. I was ear. too poor to buy a gaming TV and well, gaming system. So I basically just trapped people. <laughs> now I got gaming computer one and two monitors. It's beautiful. <laughs> If I'm you a want a coat rack, yo. If you want a multi-screen gaming setup, just murder your family <laughs> and then capture their souls. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is the best thing ever. I'm gonna get a new gaming computer tomorrow. So, do you have a favorite character of Noragami? Favorite character would probably be um, Yato. Yato yeah, Zemi. Or I can't remember his name, but um, the fan dude. The oh, fan dude's um, amazing. Yeah, um, Kafuku's. Uh, yeah, person. Yeah, he's pretty cool. If you got someone as an item, and you could choose what item. What would you be and why? Okay, so if <laughs> was he the item or is he the am person? I the item he is the item. You're I'm the, the item. item, and I got to choose. You got to choose. Oh God, um, I I want to be something useful and cool, 
but just my luck, I'd be like a shower hair net. <laughs> That's what you choose? No, no just I'm saying what you choose. Is, choose. Yeah, get you get a choose. choose. You get a choose. Um, probably a howitzer. Okay, wheeze. Um, maybe like a dagger. All right, boom. Be cool. I'd be a lightsaber. <laughs> I'd okay. be a hair clip. A hair clip. Yeah, yeah. I want to be a blaster. Never mind. But they're gonna bend you. Out okay. Of shape. I am built. I'd be built for bending. I got transform into that. You do realize that you could. That's snap called a fat, paper clip, bud. right? Hey, man, it's a lot better than being shot out of or being ran through something. But lightsaber, then there's no blood. Yeah, but if I'm just paper clip, I'm just chilling there. Just there's like, things, hey, though. You can be cool. like a complete. Until you get lost behind a couch. <laughs> hey, then I'm there and I'm just like, all right, this is neat. Then a mouse will take me away into his clam. Like, all right, where does this go? <laughs> you can be a completely like useless item. Right. As a howitzer, have... you can just blow up the house with the mouse family in it. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a completely useless item and still have some crazy ability. Like the yeah. fan guy. Like the fan or the guy. nail. Like, or the, the nail, nail yeah, that, that could like eventually became an earring. I'm a paperclip, but I can make things fly. Watch so this mouse the go. The evolution <laughs> of a paperclip is you get like those, uh, you get the silver paperclip that's just metal. Yeah. And then you get the rubberized paperclips. And then does he turn into one of those paper clamps at the end? <laughs> yeah. Is that like the best paperclip? <laughs> yeah. Eventually, I just turn on one of those sandwich oh, clips. Oh, Like would... one of those, uh. <laughs> and then somebody throws if you Fuku in the freezer. If opens like a portal to the underworld, you'd be able to close it with the clip power. Oh, yeah. oh there we That's go. my power. Just, you guys want to see help? <laughs> oh, what if you turn in those ones, or those really stupid ones? They're, they're like a, they're not a clip, but they're like a, a clasp. Mm. But you have to like fold the paper chips and really weird eventually way and just... oh. I turned into a binder. <laughs> <laughs> you just upgrade into a full uh, portfolio binder at the eventually end. you turn into a computer. Somehow I turn into a computer, then from that I can turn into anything. Yeah. Just become a smart watch. Smart watch. Turn, turn into in... a transformer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go full circle and turn back into a Technically. Paper clip. I had to find my own. But he could be a transformer that turns into a transformer. <laughs> <laughs> I have to return to my roots. I'm going to be a paperclip for this week. But we need you to know let me study in peace on how to be a paperclip yet again. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. Yeah, season two is really good. Do you like Bishamon at all? Um I'm kind of on the fence about her. She she gets more likable in this arc that you're she's that you're really watching. Cool. Right I now. honestly kind of liked her a bit more when she was just the big bad guy running around like I smell devil. <laughs> 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 she's actually I get what you're saying. She's kind of a yeah. cool villain, but the way her character is, she turns into a pretty cool character. She never really becomes super like it's not like she com goes a 180 and is she's like, not like friendly likeable, with yato but yeah but yeah okay because so far as i'm watching it i'm thinking like you know she's probably gonna go 180 and be like all right let's team up and defeat the big old bad yeah guy she's not like right she doesn't turn into suddenly she's one of the crew it's more of just like she's not com she doesn't go completely like is she more like i'll murder you later yeah more like that kind it's like, I like you for now. And also when you find out why she wants to murder him and stuff like that, like more in depth. Yeah. You it's it's cool. the last candy It's very uh, complicated God relationships and stuff. It's you know, cool. He just took her sandwich from the fridge. Yes. <laughs> that's all it was. <laughs> that That's how, yeah. That's how the gods work. They're just I'm like, pretty sure that's how. You took my sandwich once. I've read Greek mythology. That, that's that's basically, basically how they yeah. run. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So... Real quick, so we went over some of your favorite. We went over your worst. How did you start watching anime? How did I start watching anime? Well, that would probably be... Well, if we started at the very first, way back when... I was five years old. I was about two years old. No. I was of age then. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that. I can clip it now. <laughs> that was an inside joke. You had to be there to listen to it, my yeah. fellow viewers. Uh, um, but how I started watching it was with you guys on our Tuesday night anime watching. Okay. Way back before this all started. Did you even like anime back then? Um, the only anime I had really watched was The Last Airbender. 
that's mm. shut your mouth. It it's on an Nickelodeon. It's, it's in the anime. Not an anime. <laughs> that's an anime. <laughs> I've seen the animation styles. It's an anime. It's, uh, uh, it's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna blow. Up. It's at to someone who doesn't care. It's an anime. Anime inspired heavily. Heavily, inspired. heavily inspired. If the Boondocks is an anime, the Airbender is an anime. The Boondocks is not an anime. It is oh, an crap. anime. Technically, like some of the Transformers shows were anime because they're made by those, Japanese. Because yeah, those are actual anime though. They were, they were made by Japanese. But people. if you're <laughs> Japanese and you watch an American cartoon, but you still only speak Japanese, it's still anime. Exactly. So if I can so watch there we an go. American TV show with Japanese influences, it's freaking anime. I'm there not going to argue with you. I know you're not because you're wrong. I understand. <laughs> I, I, I understand. side with the yellow man. I understand it's it's humiliating, but <laughs> try to compose. I mean, if that's anime, then uh, Ruby's anime. Yeah. That's a little different. Ruby is not. Ruby's garbage. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very different. CGI is, is not anime. No. Anime, real but anime here's the made thing. in Japan that just... CGI is not anime. No. It's There's... garbage. There's garbage. plenty of CGI anime. Look at Bizarre. Yeah, we just said it's garbage. garbage. It's so it's still anime. anime. No, no, it's no, just not, garbage. No. no, it's anime. No. Berserk you, is anime. I can look at your dumpster and I can say it's anime, but it's not anime. There's probably anime in my dumpster. <laughs> that, but it doesn't make your dumpster anime. Yeah. It's still anime. No. If we're going to talk about what is anime, what's not anime, then CGI is anime. How? Because it's made by Japan. Just because it's made by Japan doesn't make it anime. No, see, it's transcended being made or not made. It just just become pure garbage. So then, Hawaiian how is last is made by how Canadian. is last Airbender <laughs> Boondocks Canadian anime? Pizza. Because of the animation style. <laughs> okay, but if I was allowed to drop this mic, I would. <laughs> that was hilarious. You cannot because it's a it's a hundred couple hundred dollar mic. Oh, I know. You like mic drop. <laughs> okay, anime has two classifications: where it's made in the art style. Right? No, I wouldn't say that, no. Why wouldn't you say it's that? It's just art style, in my opinion. Anime just is art just art style. Then there's a lot of things that are anime that aren't even meant to be anime. Such as? Uh, Animatrix. I don't know what that is. It's basically anime matrix. So it's just the art said, style of anime. You said it's, supposed to be, it's not supposed to be anime, but it is, is what you started out with. But it's literally called animatrix. I mean, yeah. So yeah, that would be anime. What I classify as anime is the art style. I mean, I classify it as who made it in the art style, so... I don't care about the creator. Not usually. I just think of anime as Japanese cartoons. Japanese yeah, so anime ja- Japanese but cartoons. The, so there's like, stuff that's so heavily inspired by anime, it might as well be the same. It's, the, it's, it's in the same genre. Otherwise, no Netflix original could be an anime. No, yes. no. Airbender isn't an anime, but it is a shonen. <laughs> Shonen's kind of? just a type of sh- anime. Shonen means young boy. Yeah. That's yep. What it is. Yep. Shows for young boys. There I don't know. I boys. argue that anime is where it's made in the art style itself. Wait, I thought that was called hentai. <laughs> no, you're thinking of shota. Oh, got it. Yeah. That's means kind of the same thing, but slightly different. It's for hentai. It's the hentai version of shonen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing the root show has something to do with boy. It's God of War, basically. I think show means male. Uh, it could be. Or some form of male. And then... Um, nin? Nin. Nin means young. Oh, suffix thing. Yeah, I don't know. I know ni means two. So maybe that... I don't know. Two boys. Japan, Japan is weird. And there's how oh, they make the word. Shoni. Anyways, continue before we continue arguing about what is not anime. Okay. Um, I kind of forgot where I was. <laughs> you said the first anime you first watched was anime Airbender. anime I watched was Airbender. I haven't seen Airbender, actually. You haven't? No. It's one of the greatest I, shows. I need it's to pretty watch good. it. That's debatable. Nah, eh, shut your mouth. I rewatched it recently. It's not yeah, so did I. Psychopath, I bet. I don't know. I've never seen that. That's on my watch list. Psycho Pass is really good. You need to watch it. At least the first season. That's why I tell everybody, and nobody ever watches it. Just watch the first season. Well, I mean, you keep telling people to watch JoJo, and that cuts your credibility down a uh, lot. But watch. I tell people to also watch Psycho Pass. Yes. And you tell people and to watch you've, even you've Gellion. Even Gellion. You need to watch which Psycho Pass. Which brings Psycho the credibility Peace. down a lot. Even Gellion is nothing like Psycho Pass. Besides for the 
several similarities. Um, oh no! Psychopaths. Oh. oh no! <laughs> oh, I see. No, no, psychopath is like Evangelion, but it's good and it's nothing like Evangelion. I can fire you. <laughs> <laughs> the similarities are the place in which it was made. Yeah, <laughs> and it's likability amongst the watchers. <laughs> they are both anime. <laughs> That's debatable. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> oh, this is a great episode. But yeah, watch Psycho I'm Pass. I'm enjoying myself. Like Everyone should watch the Psycho Pass. Everyone. Especially in these days. I know. Like, it's actually got like a good message for these it days. It does. And Makshima Shogo is a beautiful man. After yes? that, watch Charlotte in real life. What? Yeah. Charlotte in real life. Yeah, Charlotte in real life. What is that the name of a show or is it just live? Charlotte and then real life. Oh. It's two shows. I heard oh. you say Charlotte in real life. <laughs> That's right. Charlotte I'm in like real too. life. No, I'm going to go to a fantasy world and then watch Charlotte. There you go. Anyway, so what's the first anime you watched? The first anime I watched was the last day. <laughs> Here I said this. No. Um, We're not classifying. That's uh, the first okay, anime like okay. you've seen. The first thing that got me... Pokemon first, doesn't count. No, I actually have never seen Pokemon. Neither have I. A lot of people say Pokemon's not an anime. It is, technically. It's an anime. Especially going by your characteristics of an anime. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Going by any characteristics, it's an anime. Yeah. What the yeah. heck, people? Anyways, continue. Um, First anime I watched, I can't remember if it was... Um... What was it? Full Metal? Yeah, it was Full oh, Metal Alchemist full Brotherhood. Metal, the original Full Not Metal. Not Brotherhood. Oh, it was Just the Just regular Full Metal yeah. Alchemist. We should have yeah. watched Brotherhood. Brotherhood is so much better than Brotherhood. Brotherhood is a lot better. I did it watch Brotherhood, um, I think sometime last year. Nice. Yeah, it was right before they took it off Netflix. How long have you been watching anime again? Um, How long ago did we do... I don't remember. I don't remember either. It was way back in... It has been a while, though. It was um, before Pyrolus got his um job at... Uh, Mikasta. At the water plant. Programming the water. <laughs> 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 that doesn't sound like a, a Alex Jones theory at all. I hope you enjoy that drinking water. I programmed it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, way before that. You need to add remember... that to your Twitter bio. Just water programming. Water program. <laughs> X water program. Do it. Do, do it for your uh, your LinkedIn account. <laughs> X water programmer. You Maybe the government hire will hire you. <laughs> How do, you, how do you program the water? I took Excel files and shoved it in. <laughs> Those computers never work the same again. All but right. the water never tasted better. It was amazing. So I think you originally started watching anime back in 2019, 2018. Didn't you show them the only yeah. Cowboy Bebop? episode that had breasts yeah in that it. was before yeah. you even started watching anime because i was watching cowboy bebop at the time that was what got me interested in it <laughs> <laughs> he was like high school dmc yeah, yeah, i knew it you watched the the lobster episode right no With like the the, the f- I, yes yes i, you watched yes, I watched one, the and then space you watched the next- lobster oh, right you and then it was the bath because i was episode. having a great time watching Cowboy Bebop, and it, like there was no problems with it. The worst fan service was uh, I can't think of the name. No, Faye. Faye, Faye Valentine yeah. when Faye. she was sunbathing on the um, right, and that was the, the worst. And I was like, that's not bad. And then we watched the lobster episode. And I was like, that's great. So we're gonna watch that's the next trippy. episode. That's <laughs> trippy. And then within five minutes of the show, there's this dude off of his shirt. Or, there's a dude with his shirt off, and he has boobs. Yeah, what the yeah. heck? It's just a dude. I don't know. At the time, we didn't even know it was a dude. Yeah. Especially <laughs> when you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> that, and you see long hair it, and a kind of feminine looking face. That makes face. it way more confusing, too. And it's just like, oh. It, and then it's just a random guy that's like, yeah, I got whatever happened to me. I just like look back at Isaac, hit the exit button on my computer. I'm like, eh, we're done watching Cowboy View up now. It was kind of funny because you like, no, we're gonna that watch happened. And you just like, <laughs> I didn't even see your hand move, but you just like flew up and hit the space bar <laughs> like speed of sound sonic just like blip. it paused right there and you're like dang it <laughs> well it was just like because your parents have been kind of strict 
I feel like what you could and can't um, watch, especially when you were younger. Yeah, you I mean to they didn't allow you to watch until you were sixteen. That's true. They wouldn't even let you watch Scooby Doo. No, that was mainly because they thought it was stupid and thought I would have a better life I without mean, watching it. <laughs> my parents had the same thing about several shows. So I was like, okay, I don't want to show them anything too bad. And I was like, Cowboy Bebop's okay. There's no nudity, no sexual stuff in it. And the first ep- full episode I will show them has got freaking nudity in it. I'm just like, oh, dang it. I screwed up. <laughs> Looks like I'm never seeing this one again. You're the lightsaber. We're doing the next one. <laughs> he just takes off his shirt. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> so that was technically the first actual like that was the Japanese anime that you yes. see. If we're going to be like the strictest of the strict definition of anime, that was the first anime I had seen. Right. Well, I mean like Japanese made yeah. anime. Like technically it originally released in anime. Japanese. Yeah. I guess that's like the purest definition for what is anime like did is the dub like an actual like dub or is it just like is that the original and it's dubbed over in Japanese? Yeah, exactly. Should I watch the last airbender in Japanese? <laughs> no. If it's anything like episode 3 of uh Star Wars, then yes. Oh yeah. I mean, just saying that's a Raven's classified in uh Japanese. I mean, as an anime, so. I thought it was Cory in the house. They're I think they're both at this point. Uh yeah, it could be. Then you can buy Corey in the house for your for your uh, 360 best game out there. <laughs> How? What? what? Go ahead, buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. I'd have to buy a 360 first. There you go. Buy them both. All right. So anyway, so you watched that scene, and then you watched Full Metal Alchemist. And I watched Full Metal Alchemist. When did you actually start liking anime? Was it during Full Metal Alchemist, or it were you was... just watching it because we were watching it? I had always been interested in watching it because, okay. like... Cowboy Bebop is what got you interested? Yeah. The lobster one was trippy. Yeah. But it kind of it confused and amused me. And you've never... You had never seen Alien either. Uh, correct. I hadn't... I still haven't seen Alien. You haven't or, seen Alien? I haven't oh. seen Alien. You so should see it. You the should the it. lobster scene for Cowboy Bebop is basically just, like, a parody of Alien. Yeah. So they have the flamethrower and everything. So. Yeah. But, yeah, so that was probably even more trippy for you. Because I at least got the reference when they were doing <laughs> They should watch Alien. You should. I have to say the lobster episode is, like, probably my favorite episode of Cowboy Bebop. It's great. I don't I mean, even remember what happened, but I remember way liking better it a lot. Than the freaking monkey missile episode. I don't remember. I need to rewatch the show. They I don't sent, remember how. So there were these in the episode. There were these activists that wanted like free the animals by turning everyone into monkeys, and the disease uh, ended up getting released on their ship. So they turned into monkeys, and they were sent into in the live action warp space. In the live action, they <laughs> okay, changed it from that. them wanting to turn them into monkeys to want them wanting to turn into trees. What? <laughs> yeah. Why? They got this. They got this smoke thing that whenever people would breathe it in, they just like poof into like bioorganic trees. I can just see that like poofing and then like, just instant, poof, and then like a fake crappy tree being put there. Mwop. It was actually hey, pretty good just, CGI. Yeah, I can but... imagine just like a blow up like tree, like from a kid's like play or <laughs> something. Like, it was <laughs> actually kind of nasty because like you could see like bits of the human and stuff. Like mm. s- sometimes they'd have a face on the tree. And, like when you reached into the tree, it was like actually reaching into their organs and blood and stuff. It was nasty. You need to get. Hey, can you give me the apple? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Like that one I guy from finish. Elden Ring. Together. <laughs> 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 All right. So, anyways, let's, let's finish this up. Um, what were we doing? Um, I forgot. What's, Bebop, what's the next lobster. anime you're gonna watch? Yeah, what's like, what's the next what's anime the you're gonna future watch? Future of anime. Um, so once I finish Noragami, I'm hopefully gonna finish season two of Promise Neverland. Oh, hmm. um, that one's interesting. Okay, so season two, they went through like 300 <laughs> chapters of the manga in 12 episodes. Yep. So it's uh, I've heard it's a little jank. I want to read the whole manga so I don't get it spoiled by season two, and then watch season two and see what the heck they did. Oh, have you not seen season? I two haven't yet? seen season. Two. None of us watched it because we heard it was super bad. I honestly think it's pretty okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, and I don't necessarily care about the manga anyhow. 
Yeah. So, like, if it's different from the manga, I'll never know, probably. He's illiterate. Actually, no. I read quite a few books, and I like reading books, but it's just... Picture books are not the same. No, they're not. He can't read picture books. (laughs) They confuse me. Like, where are you supposed to go? Especially the Japanese ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The manga. Comic books, I can sometimes handle. Mm. But it's the manga where it's like, okay, and hold on. Why are they starting out with a big epic fight scene? (laughs) You, you know they actually put warnings at the front of mangas to start at the back you of the can't manga. Read Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> read Japanese. Kind he's, of. He's grabbing actual uh, Japanese <laughs> manga. It's just like written in Japanese. What the heck is it's this? It's upside right? down and everything. Yeah, these characters are confusing. Turns up right side up. Yeah, no, still confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Turns it sideways. Huh? Now I can read it. Oh look, there's a little flap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the wrong type of manga you're trying to read there, buddy. No, no, it's, oh. it's the right kind. It's the right kind. You're the one that reads DXD, so it's a good read. Yeah, good that book. was kind of a weird read on the way over. <laughs> hey, hey, it was interesting. That's all you need to know. You kept on reading it. You just kept How on loud. going. Yeah, yeah, I did. Figured you guys were in the was, ride now. It was uncomfortable. Hey, man, you guys were in for the ride, and I was going to finish what I had set out to do. <laughs> I don't prefer to have erotic manga read to me out It loud wasn't that erotic. Car. He talked about how small his brain was because he couldn't handle the situation. Then he proceeded to go sit down on the couch and talk to his arm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was that was probably the most confusing bit. Well, the dragon's in his arms. He's like, all right, I want to talk to you. And dragon's like, yeah, me too. We need to have an intervention. <laughs> you got to stop using me, bud. You got to stop using me all the time. My arm is his main harm. So dragon pretty much does say <laughs> stuff like that. Stop it. Just stop, <laughs> please. So I know I watched like that little bit of that little clip of DXD you showed me. Yeah. I can still... Only picture him just talking to his hand in a sock puppet. Just like <laughs> every time the dragon, whatever, would talk, just the sock puppet would just go crazy. Not going to lie, if my arm did that, I would put a sock puppet on my hand. And <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, is that time? Are it's we been time for a while. It's We're timed. While. This has been back. At, I mean, this has been the Weezcast. Weezcast. Subtitled Baka Talk. Baka Baka Talk. Talk. <laughs> Studios. And um, you can follow us ah, at, at? Everywhere. Everywhere. Actually, you can just, if you want to find us anywhere, just link in the description. Especially YouTube, though, where we're Baka Talk Studios, and you can find our, like, Steinsgate playthroughs and stuff. Yeah. And you we can need to subscribe do more. and like and watch all our videos and a hundred million times. Our studio's address is on the back of this uh, postcard. Yes, you can check out this postcard that right. um, I have in my hand. Yeah, right, right. And, and Pyrolis is also holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a big, it big it postcard. Is. It is. It's a yeah. large poster. I, why did you spend so much money on Here, this poster? Take, they take told a, me it was a billboard. Take a look. Take a look. T- it tastes like raspberry, right? They should wow. taste Your chon like sounds like a two by four. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when you do construction, you got to use every bit of your body to get the two by four in the wall. Speaking of construction, True. we're also on Twitter and it's uh, currently at- under construction. <laughs> <laughs> that was an amazing segue. That was I just got to say, I-, I didn't I didn't think I was just I just chose a random thing that you said and then said, speaking of that. <laughs> Hey, we're on a, Twitter. You can if a monkey throws poopoo at the wall so many times, I know. you'll hit it eventually. I'm, I'm so genius. I'm stupid. So uh, at Twitter, we're <laughs> at TalkBaka, I believe. Yeah. Right. Okay. And you can find us there and tweet at us and stuff. That's all I'm gonna mention. Yes. For that, you can find me uh, at KBW on the YouTube and at KBW Author on Twitter, where you can find my link to my YouTube, which would probably be easier. Than just searching on YouTube. That one's always show on the back of the postcard. This one tastes like schnozberry. Try it, boom. I'm not going to eat schnozberry. Why not? I don't know what schnozberry is. It's, from- it's like a mix of boogers and cotton candy. I'm yeah. not eating Come that. On, just no. try it. Just try Speaking it. Eating of schnozberry, Pyrolis, where can they find you? Oh, you can find me uh, at the Twitter. Twitter. At what? Uh, Pyrolis too. Very nice. I, I was an ex-water programmer. <laughs> <laughs> and Bume. 
Hey, you can find me on Twitter at SirBoom9, or you can also find me on Twitter at BehindYouPod. And check out his podcast, Look Behind I You. I That's where your can. I know I want Terry more. and Jordan are on. Dinosaurs. Yeah, we both mentioned them in this episode and at certain points. we talk about the paranormal, the supernatural, and time travelers, and monsters, and all that fun stuff. Go back to when we mentioned Terry and Jordan, and then timestamp it, and and put it in the comments of YouTube or something. Yeah. Have you mentioned Monsters, Inc. on it yet? Yeah, you still need an episode about that one. Yeah, we actually mon- mentioned Monsters, Inc. Uh, for one random episode. You're going to get us copyrighted. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> what are you doing? Also with us is Mick Snazzy Pants. Mick Snazzle. Mick Snazzy Pants. Where do you care if they can find you? No, I don't exist anywhere yet. All Unless right, I'm going to give you his address. His address, address is... 1770. We, back we road. don't have it on the um, the huh. the card. We don't have it on the. No, not yet. It thing. will be. So it costs to too it much money to put on the. Card. Yeah. Although they told me it was a billboard, and I'm kind of mad that it's just like a two by six. Dude, this thing's like bigger than those checks you'd win on the the spinning shows. Well, it's basically a sheet of OSB, but I was yeah. expecting an actual billboard. See, what you don't know is you just gave us some money and we spent us like $20 to get this OSB and we just spent the rest <laughs> of the $2,000 on what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't OSB know, is not $20. No. It's 100 no. Okay, maybe not that much. It's basically a hundred. No, it's like it's like seventy dollars. Well, sheet. after we it's kicked 80. the guy in the shin, it's it only 80. cost twenty bucks. I was gonna say after we kicked him in the shin, <laughs> I pulled a gun out on him. It was only twenty bucks. Hey, if you find the right lumber yard, you can just drive in the back, pick an OSB sheet up, and just drive <laughs> away. Also, the writing on it is only on twelve font, which I don't know. We didn't we didn't pay that much attention. To I got an ink stamp. It was like. Yeah, we're like, this looks good. Yeah, it's not schnozberry, it's just ink. Just ink. <laughs> it just says ink over and over and but over again. But the ink has yeah. a flavored. lot of different we used flavored ink. To just we That's what we spent all the rest of the money on, flavored ink. Flavored ink. It's so good. All right, so <laughs> please end us from our suffering before this we This has more. been the Weezcast. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to our guest for showing up. Yeah, it was fun. I had fun too, and thanks for having me. Hope to be back again sometime in the next century. Maybe. Oh yeah, you're replacing. You charge me Thanks this. so much for watching. Bye. Jam yow. See y'all later. Peace out. Now we pass the